doing? Today I have jumped on the bandwagon and I have ordered the cheapest guitar from Amazon. I should put a caveat there that this is not literally the cheapest guitar on Amazon, but it's cheap enough that I had a very typical gift card balance on Amazon, like 150 bucks, and this guitar was below that. So this is the cheapest guitar I've bought probably with my own money ever, technically, but I have seen a lot of positive reviews of these particular guitars. This is an orange wood. This particular one's an orange wood Ray Mahogany, R-E-Y Mahogany. I took it out of the box because the box was damaged and I was taking pictures of it. And I didn't want to like cross the label off in case I had to file a claim because I already have had to file a pretty horrific shipping claim today on a guitar. I was hoping I don't have two casualties, but I haven't taken it out of the gig bag yet. So, let's see. It comes in a decent quality gig bag. It's better than my $20 gig bag that I got from Music Store for an acoustic. First, let's see. Do they give you anything? So they give you a pit guard that you could apply if you want to, which I will not. And they give you an Allen wrench for the truss rod. Not bad. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. That's a pretty good bag, actually. Usually gig bags like this don't open up that much. So there we go. Well, it smells like an acoustic guitar. On the inside it says made in China, which is how it is $135. However, it does say that this was professionally set up in Los Angeles by E, C, L, or Curly Q, whoever that is. Congratulations on your new guitar. Here are some tips to keep it healthy and loved. To learn more, visit the care and maintenance page on our website. Well, I do know how to keep it healthy, so I won't need to do that. Although, maybe I will, just see if they have anything specific. It's actually not too far out of tune, considering that it just got shipped from California halfway across the country in winter when we've had snow. So basically right now, I'm looking, I mean, I know for such a cheap guitar, it's a little unfair to go over it so meticulously, but it's kind of my routine. I'm looking for anything about the fit and finish that might stand out, particularly right where I expect to find it, which is the fact that it has all these angles of binding here. There is a little bit of, you would criticize it for being sloppy if this was like a thousand dollar guitar, but for a hundred dollar guitar, I can't really see criticizing it for those little finish runs right on the binding. I mean, that happens on expensive guitars too, but what do you expect? So on the spec sheet, this has a bone nut and saddle, which is partly why I chose this guitar because it gives you a little bit uh, a little bit better than like a plastic nut on an entry-level fender or something like that. There's really no roughness down the side of the neck. I've seen 10 or 15 other acoustics that were in the three to $400 range, which is way more than this. 
that had much worse fret ends, fret sprout, and everything like that. This is actually pretty comfortable. I mean, this feels really good, actually, for being brand new and just shipped. As you would expect, the logo is looks like a silk screen of some sort. It has a volute, although it has it has a scarf joint, but it's right up here at the volute. So that's probably a pretty strong joint right there. It's got some interesting grain patterns. The construction is that this is all mahogany, front, back, and sides, layered, because they have to hit a price point. The neck is mahogany. There's, it looks to be a three-piece neck, because you've got the main central piece right here, which actually does have some figuring on it for mahogany grain. I don't know if you can really see that, but that is not bad looking for a piece of mahogany. And then, of course, the heel um, has a separate piece glued on and the headstock has a separate piece glued on where the scarf joint's about right there. So you can see though that it does have nice wood grain even on the secondary piece right there than the main piece of the neck. So I would say visually this is a really good looking guitar for $135. I suspect that the tuners are not going to be that good but I haven't tried to tune it yet but let's see. I'm going to take this case out of here. So here's just a rag. Any guitar that's new, typically I would change the strings. I hear that these ship with Ernie balls, so they should be pretty good. It doesn't feel like there's any grime coming off of them.
So anyway, this, like I said, I got using just Amazon gift card balance. It was $135. I didn't really pay anything for it. That's why I'm calling it the cheapest guitar on Amazon. I think for the price, this definitely plays better than I would expect. I have another acoustic that was very, very cheap. I think it was closer to 200, but it doesn't play or feel nearly as nice as this to play. I mean, this guitar has a very agreeable neck. I was kind of concerned being at that price point that it would have too thin of a neck for me because that's kind of like a beginner price point. The neck profile on this is very agreeable. The only thing that's weird is that it is pretty much equal as you approach the heel. Usually you might expect that a neck might get a little bit thicker. So it feels great from like the fifth fret position and back, but it feels the same until you hit the heel. So that's kind of unexpected. Maybe that's a plus for playability. Earlier this year when it was a lot safer to do so, I went to Guitar Center and I played like 10 mahogany acoustics that were in the three to $500 range. And they all sounded way muddier than this and they all had similar construction technically. A lot of them were Ibanez, so it surprised me that they sounded muddier, and also the fretwork was not any better than this. Now I'm gonna stop because it's starting to sound like I'm kinda, you know, giving them too much props, but really, I would say this guitar, I mean, it is strictly an acoustic, it has no electronics, so that explains why partially the price is how it is. But even considering the price, after watching some of the other reviews of this guitar on YouTube, I kind of had high expectations or I had like a reasonable expectation for the price and then taking into account what people are saying. And this actually did meet my expectations. The fretboard is very dry though. I don't know if you could hear that when I was playing, but it's, yeah, it's dry. I'm gonna need to oil that. I mean, being that I didn't actually spend anything on this, I like it a lot. I think I finally found my sofa guitar. definitely can get too loud for an apartment. Oh yeah, I don't want to keep doing that. Now that the strings are broken in too, it's pretty stable. The tuning is pretty stable. You know, aside from like the totally expected at this price, minor fit and finish issues, like around the heel of the neck, where the binding is, it's pretty much binding related issues, which for this price to have a double bound single back binding, I mean, it's kind of unfair to criticize it at that level, but I'm going to anyway. The tuner is actually, yeah, I mean, they're brand new, so keep that in mind. They have a better action than I was expecting. I thought that they were gonna suck. They might be just pretty terrible and I might have to swap them out, but I'm not gonna swap them out unless they start sucking with age. I like the overall look of this guitar and I like the mahogany top because it gives it more of a richer tone than a spruce top or a layered spruce or something like around this price. And this actually does have the tone that I was looking for when I played all those other mahogany topped acoustics at Guitar Center that were on the lower cost side. I was looking for something that sounded like this, but they all sounded way, way muddier. And I heard a handful of demos of these on YouTube already, which convinced me that this had the clarity that I was looking for to begin with. But of course, for the price, you'd be skeptical. But I mean, bearing in mind that it's brand new, um, I really don't know how I could criticize this. I mean, you'd expect everything to be built super cheaply and arguably it is, but considering that fact, I don't think they could have really done a better job.
guess that's my final evaluation is this guitar is every bit as good as a guitar can be for $135. And it's good looking in my opinion. I still really like the grain on this particular neck. I really hope that comes across on this fish eye, but it has this nice diagonal, almost like candy cane wood grain. Good looking guitar, good sounding guitar. Simple as you can get really, except for the binding. And very well made for the price. I can totally see why these have become so popular. And the other thing is that card that said it was set up when it got to California, I think that does count for something, particularly on a guitar that I'm sure at this price a lot of beginners are gonna buy and they're not gonna know how to do a setup. So, I mean, it's pretty much set up exactly what you would do if you got any acoustic at this price point, but they've already done it for you. So I guess now I'm officially on the bandwagon for Orangewood, sorry. I mean, this is not sponsored, but I just got this with gift card balances, so that makes it the cheapest guitar on Amazon, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time.